Aloha Mai Kako, a Como Mida Curtain Call, a program of reviews, previews, interviews, and features of and or with the great art and artists on Maui and beyond. I'm Paul James Brown. The latest show at the Hui Noiao Visual Arts Center in Makawao is a collaborative with the East Maui Watershed Partnership. Entitled Malama Vawakua, it means care for the realm of the gods, it is an annual juried exhibition in its seventh incarnation at the Hui, which seeks to celebrate native and endemic species and artistic excellence. To that end, every work is analyzed by conservation professionals for accuracy and appropriateness of depictions and materials, and there are thoughtful, instructive descriptions of each work prepared by staff of East Maui Watershed Partnership in collaboration with the artist's statements. After the Art of Trash, it is the most unique art show on Maui. First, there are two jurors, one who represents the conservation scientific side and one from the fine arts side. Then, this show has students from all three educational levels, as well as adults. And there are a total of 10 awards in addition to the State Foundation on Culture and the Arts Recognition Award, which means these works may join the most prestigious art collection in the state. This year, a total of 117 multimedia works representing 74 unique species were contributed by 96 artists, 40 adults, 15 high school students, 14 middle schoolers, and 27 elementary students. The jurors were Gabrielle Anderman, one of our most distinguished fine artists. Since she arrived in 2008, she has been on an impressive evolutionary journey. She is a magna cum laude Phi Beta Kappa graduate from UCLA. She studied at the Sorbonne, and she had a career in film and television before coming to Maui. She has won the Juror's Choice Award four times in this show, in 2011 and 12, and then in 2016 and 17. There couldn't be a more qualified person. The science juror is botanist for the Hawaii Invasive Species Council, Chuck Chimera, who has, over his three decades here, worked for the National Park Service and the USGS. A most unusual feature about his qualifications are he is the husband of fine artist Melissa Chimera. So, there couldn't be a more qualified scientist for this jury. Ms. Anderman chose Gwen Arkin's mixed-media work, Recursive Nature. It is a microscopic representation of red and green algae, attempting to show the repetition in nature. It is definitely the most abstract work in this show, and one of the more unique takes on the show's charge to artists. Mr. Chimera selected Carolyn Killauer's Eva Eva. In this relief print, here we, again, we see a take on the charge that is unique. There are three women in the print. The center figure seems to be indicating the Eva Eva, which are featured throughout the work. The first woman seems to be delighting in the forests of ferns. For the high school juror's choice, they selected Jai Manley's Blue Flutter, a colored pencil depiction of the koa butterfly he saw in Waikamoi Preserve. Mr. Manley's facility with the medium, especially the way he blends colors, gives the feel of a watercolor. Here are a couple of high schoolers whose work caught my attention. Piper Omori's depiction of the extinct in the wild Alala la is a watercolor with detail of a pencil sketch. And this photo of the ma'o flower, Hawaiian cotton, by Kiana Makadangdang, luminescence in the dark, was quite arresting. Finally, there is a wonderful gouache paint on watercolor paper by high school senior Kayla Odessa Forsyth of a Kamehameha Pulelehua, an endemic species whose numbers are declining. Ms. Forsyth has clearly displayed this work as if it were a real butterfly, painstakingly cutting it from the watercolor paper, then mounting it in a shadow box as if it were on display in a natural history museum. Most impressive. The middle school prize went to Elliot Carter for this outstanding acrylic depiction of the now extinct smallest of the three rail Maui species, Kepler's Crake. Entitled Once There Were Rails, the artist had to imagine its plumage based on other rails because the image was taken from a description of subfossils found in the Awahi Cave here in 1982. Excellent work and most creative. Now we come to the elementary school prize, and this had to be one of the hardest categories for the jurors because there are several eye-grabbing elementary school artists. The jurors chose the bat and the moon, a watercolor depiction of the state land mammal, the endemic Hawaiian hoary bat, flying by the moon by Bryce Cunningham. It, like virtually all endemic and native species, is on the endangered list. Here are a few other elementary works that caught my eye. Noah Reynolds' acrylic of Ko'o Loa Ula, this creatively inventive paint pastel marker rainbow monk seal by Camille Richards, and these two depictions of the koa bug by Luke Tanaka, 
and Talia Tonu. Zach Pozzillo seems to win the Conservation Professional Award every year. Here is his photo of the fruit of the mamane. He has created a technique where his shooting in the wild looks like it was done in a studio. The Art of Conservation Award went to Wendy Romanchik for this portrait of her husband, Ethan, who started his love for native plants as an adolescent and turned that in 2003 with his partner, Jonathan Kieser. Would have been nice if he were painted too, into Native Nursery, a business that has provided more than a million native plants to replenish the Hawaiian Islands. The final juror's prize is the most coveted. It is now named in the honor and memory of the late naturalist who spent nearly 40 years conserving our flora and fauna, Dr. Fern P. Duval II, who passed on February 23rd, which ironically is my birthday. His name is now attached to the Rarest Find Award, and the first winner of this prize is Bonnie Marsh for this woodblock print of the Maui Island aster, endemic to here in Oahu. It's in danger due to the loss of habitat. Here we also see an, an axe, a native dragonfly in the air by the aster. The State Foundation on Culture and the Arts selected this block print by Clifford Schneider of the extinct in the wild Hawaiian crow, the alala, with a COVID masked man in the foreground. It makes a powerful statement. And what for me has to be the rarest find shown in this block printed quilt by Susanna Cromwell are Lolu Lelo. These are only found in a two to three acre area on Huelo Islet, a 200 foot sea stack bird sanctuary off the coast of Molokai. Both of these received recognition awards. Ms. Anderman gave her honorable mention to Alex Chappelle's ceramic homage to the Ina Oblong Sea Urchin, entitled Rough Water. Mr. Chimura also chose a three-dimensional piece for his honorable mention, this pit-fired clay wire copper a la 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 by Sarah Metz. It looks like a corpse, almost Dracula-esque, but its eyes are open, awaiting the time when it can return to the forest. If, as the ancient proverb tells us, quote, the eyes are the windows to the soul, unquote, Melissa Brock has given us a marvelous glimpse of that most revealing organ in this stunning work of the eye of 24 native bird species entitled Maka Manu. What are those eyes saying? Here is another impressive work about eyes, but this time it's an aluminum print by Jenna Zerlag of the eye of the he'e, the Hawaiian day octopus. Cassie Polly creates photos that look like paintings. It's hard to believe this is a photo of an EEV in full flight Entitled Time to Go, it looks like it is in motion, even though it is a still image. She is so talented. Eli Ka'a Tully, the sister-in-law of the former Hui staffer and now head of philanthropy on Maui for the Hawaii Community Foundation, Inger Tully, and is also the mom of the high school prize winner, Jai Manley, has done Ho'olo'e, Listening, a lovely watercolor and resin vision of a woman as a protector of the endemic ohia tree. She listens to and cares for all the voices of Waikamoi Preserve. Pat Billy mounted actual Lolu, our only native palm, to come up with this most creative and beautiful piece. There are many, many more notable works in this show, such as Jennifer Valenzuela's Po Maikai, Eve Adams' Malavao Akua, Prayer Flags, and middle schooler Jackson Warren's amazing clay Eevee, to name a few. But don't take my word for it. Go see for yourself. The Hui No Al is open Wednesday to Saturday, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m., 2841 Baldwin Avenue in Makawa. This exhibit is open till November 4th. Mahalo to Josephine Bergil Gentile and Roberta Ann Wiesenberg for doing such a fine job of installing this huge and complex exhibition. Well, that's Curtain Call for this week. Mahalo Nui Loa for tuning in. I'm Paul James Brown. Ahui ho!